Hello, welcome back to Home Lab Networks. My name is AJ, and this video is a discussion on how to set up a home lab on a budget. I'm just going to get straight to the point. And for a home lab, you do not need the best equipment in the world or the newest. As it, these videos and photos here is my home lab from start to finish, and I started off with the most simplest and cheapest products I could find at the time. And then over time, I build up to what I have now. Um, the best advice I can give people and I recommend is search for deals on Amazon and, and eBay. And we are in a home lab, so we buy the secondhand servers and all the secondhand equipment that still works great. And we don't need the newest unless you're rich and can afford it. I started off here with an A-port switch and a Wi-Fi extender. And then over time, I build up to the 24 port switch and even today I'll still use it, the unmanaged switch and I will probably use that until it dies. Um, the NAS I bought um, off eBay, it's $200, it's not the best one in the world, it's definitely not the fastest, but it does the job for what is required. And after I started building up some equipment, that's when I got my first rack and even that was $100 off eBay. Like, and then just, you just got to take your time in what you're doing and you need to think about what you're building. And then it all happens over time. And you just got to look out for, for deals. Um, the biggest mistake I made was I did my whole home lab in around six months, six to eight months. So I spent a lot of money very fast and very quickly. But IT... It's like an addiction, like, you just buy up one thing and then you just keep moving on to the next thing, like, faster and quicker each time. But, um, just, my advice is just take your time, save some money up, and just look out for good deals, and there's no rush at all. Like, you just take your time, there's no rush at all, no competition, you just do what suits you, and you just buy what you can afford at the time. I said all my servers, or enterprise servers, are all second-hand, the, the, the old servers, but for a home lab and what I use them for, and for what people like me would use them for, they run great. I've done a few upgrades here and there as far as like storage and RAM, but otherwise it's all um, default straight from the um, IT company. But they run great, and just my advice is just don't spend too much money at once, just take your time and slowly build it up. Don't rush it and just think about it. I said all my equipment's from eBay and Amazon and secondhand. And like even my switches, maybe $120. But um, that's all I really have to say. But this is a project that takes time. And just enjoy the process while building your home web. And your end result, when you look back from when you first started, is amazing. Thanks for watching the video guys and I'll see you in the next one.